What's up, it's Josh Hewitt, and it is time to do with Hewitt once again. And this video is gonna be pretty different from most of the stuff I upload on this channel. I recently had an experience with DMT. Um, you know, some of you may have heard of that compound. If you follow Joe Rogan, you probably heard all about it. Um, and I've heard a lot about it, primarily when I was uh, researching ayahuasca. And uh, it's been a number of years in coming that uh, I was very curious about potential positive effects of increasing awareness and having sort of a, a grand experience to have a to enhance my consciousness and I, I managed to have an opportunity to to try DMT fairly recently I posted a video of that on my other channel which is more for my own personal videos it's uh, doesn't have a lot of uh, viewership and uh, it's just more for my myself and I had it set to private and it was mostly for myself to reflect on this video for to you know get something out of it later when I, I want to uh, review it and to share with personal friends and family but I decided to make it public uh, at one point I put myself out there and it was very well received and I'm getting a lot of amazing feedback on it and uh, I was pleasantly surprised in the name of authenticity and sharing some real experience I've had, uh, I decided to post this video on my channel, my main Top Form Fitness channel. So, without further ado, enjoy the trip. Uh, earlier today, I just had my first ever experience with DMT. I wanted to just document my experience a little bit while it's still fresh in my head because it was an incredibly intense and overwhelming experience uh, which I'm still processing and um, I want I think there's a lot of learning to be had in it and I wanted to uh, document it right now so that I can look back on this and and sort of glean some some benefits and learning from it down the road as well so basically I went to a woman who described herself as a neo shaman basically someone who helped to guide people through their experience with the medicine and um, uh, this was a really good idea in hindsight I would not have wanted to go through this <coughs> experience without some sort of guidance uh, it was well beyond anything I could have possibly expected and I've watched documentaries on DMT and uh, I go in with, an, with a purpose and an intent so I definitely wasn't doing this uh, for like a psychedelic uh, trip of some kind uh, I've been on a journey of uh, self-discovery and uh, personal development for a number of years and this was something that was recommended to me by a number of people and uh, with you know things lined up synchronicity I just happened to connect with someone who knew someone who knew about this person and uh, it lined up and it was a very positive experience so uh, anyway the nice thing about this was there was a uh, uh, a lot of pre-work going before we uh, did uh, try the DMT with meditation and um, talking about what intent and what purpose you wanted to get out of it and <clears throat> what was your goal from the experience and that was really beneficial put me in a real place of being open to gleaning something positive out of it she did a little bit of work with um, chakras and breathing exercises and stuff. She gave me some feedback on you know, where my energies seemed to be from her perspective. And uh, a lot of that she said was uh, uh, a lot of energy with my throat chakra or around here, which she says whatever I'm passionate about or whatever learning I have or what I'm doing, if I could express it to others or share it verbally or uh, <clears throat> you know, talk about my experiences, that could help people. Um, and that sort of resonated with my past interest in public speaking and courses I've taken in public speaking I've sort of let that go. I'm going into the experience um, uh, you breathe it in through a, a pipe, a glass pipe and I took very deep breaths I only remember taking three apparently she said I did four or five and uh, her face started to shimmer and sort of change shape or at least lose structure as I was talking to her, she's encouraging me to take another breath, and I just sort of saw colors, and uh, and then I heard her voice, but her lips were moving, and then she sort of blended into the surroundings, 
And I remember I was kind of trying to breathe in one more time. And uh, she had, uh, <clears throat> there was an eye cover so I didn't have to be distracted by what was in the room, which was a really great idea because it was such a visual experience. Uh, I remember drifting off from there, or drifting up, I could start to see the sort of uh, imagery and uh, geometric shapes sort of appearing and everything becoming very colorful and then uh, I put the eye mask on her, she helped me with that and I was uh, on my way and it was incredibly, like I said, overwhelming. It was just such an intense experience going into this as I felt myself sort of being pulled upwards through my body and my chest and into my head and then I felt like I was just sort of starting to like just be pulled upwards out of me and I could see like, um, I remember this very vividly going into it, um, like a funnel or a tunnel or uh, like or a cylinder going upwards uh, with all sorts of intense colors uh, and shapes and um, just, it's, it's hard to describe as it's more of like a feeling, as a sensation, it's like experiencing it, not just seeing it. But it was just so much and it was like so hard for me to like interpret what I was seeing or integrate it that I kind of felt <laughs> a little freaked out initially. Um, but I remember telling myself, like I, I knew it was just happening, there's nothing going to stop it. And uh, so I remember telling myself, it's okay, it's okay, I wanted this, it's for my good. And then I took a breath and, and I was up, completely out of my body, like no awareness of the room or my physical surroundings. <clears throat> Just a little bit of thoughts I remember myself, telling myself again, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And then it started to feel, to sort of reassure myself because it was just too much. And then I remember hearing that and thinking, yeah, it is okay. And in a bigger sense, like everything is okay. Like this, there's nothing to worry about ultimately in the bigger picture. Like in life, we are in an abundant universe that's just taking care of us. And it felt like as I was going up this funnel with all these colors, it's almost like all these geometric shapes and colors. I was so much, like, I keep saying overwhelming. I don't know how to describe it otherwise, but it was almost like eyes also built into those shapes. But I got a sense that these were like, their entities or life forms or like the universal consciousness was just all in there, in this funnel and helping to like guide me and pull me up and show me things. And I sort of felt like I was connecting with everything. And that's sort of what happened next was, and so as opposed to me observing this, I was became part of it. And there was no sense of me anymore. I didn't feel like I was a body, I was Josh, I was doing this trip or anything like that. I was just within this vast energy and consciousness and it was just uh, incredible. It was, it was like uh, very intense, but it, it was also very like liberating and comforting, but because it was so, so much more than I'd ever experienced, I had no way I could prepare for what I was uh, experiencing. I was a little, I felt a little like uh, apprehensive, and I remember hearing her voice in the distance saying, deep breathe, deep breathe, deep, because I guess <clears throat> I was like sort of uh, resisting a little bit. <clears throat> And uh, then, so I took a breath. I thought I was taking a deep breath, and I wasn't. And then I managed to get a deep breath in, and it felt like it went forever. And then it like, just kept inflating, inflating, and my chest felt like it was just opening up. And all this energy was flowing through it. And then all of a sudden, I went to, to this next level. And that's where I don't, ha I don't completely remember all of the parts, like when I was really deep in there. It's like when you have a dream, uh, a, a very like vivid, intense, uh, awesome dream, and you know it was just amazing, and you wake up and you remember bits and pieces of it, and you're going through your day, you're kind of like, oh, what was that? I knew there was something around, what was that? And you kind of, you can't quite remember uh, the experience totally, you just have this sense like it was just so amazing. 
And I really remember that going into the experience and going up that tunnel and funnel that sort of kept expanding. Uh, it's like it's almost like it would let me see what I was ready to see, and then as I kind of dipped into it, it would open more, open more. It was containing me, or sort of, you know, comforting me up through that experience as it went higher and went saw more and more, and then whew, opened me up to a next level, um, which maybe I just because I can't interpret it or integrate it when I was came, came back to consciousness. I just kind of remember a feeling of it, and I can't describe it. It, uh, I still have a, a, a taste in my mouth of what it was, but I really remember going into it and then coming out of it, just as it's drifting off, which was still incredibly intense, but nothing like when I was in it. So the couple of things I do remember, well, I was right in the in the thick of it of the experience. Uh, I was tearing up, and uh, it was just so much, and uh, I was letting myself go a little bit into it, just like, this is okay, it's for my good, it's so much, but I'm, I want to experience it. And I was saying, thank you, thank you. I could hear my voice saying that over and over, and it was just felt so good to just say that. And that, that, that is one thing I took out of it, is how important gratitude is. Like, one big thing out of that experience is just being grateful, being thankful is so powerful. If we could just remember to focus on that when all you know all the shit hits us and we get caught up in the little things that don't matter. Um, a big relationship with breathing and really that deep breathing in through the chest seemed to, whenever I managed to take a deep breath, I really felt this expansiveness. <clears throat> it was incredible. But definitely a big connectivity with the universal, like universal consciousness, I felt like I was part of it. It was really clear that I had access to everything that is here, everything that is part of our universe, I am part of it as well. And I could have access to all of that knowledge and power and energy and, you know, vibrancy anytime we want. As long as we only cut ourselves off from it from our like preconceived notions and, and whatnot. And if we allow ourselves to stay connected, it's there. We can even access it in our, our meat bodies. Another thing I remember is uh, I know every time, every now and then, I would rock back in the couch and my, uh, and my, I opened my chest and my head would lightly touch the wall and I would kind of get a, a feeling of, oh, I'm still a person. Other than that, there was no sense of me being Josh or male or female or a human or anything. It was just part of this energy, you know, experiencing this sensation and universe that I've never seen or experienced in that way before. It was very visual for sure, but it's not something I can describe like, oh, I saw this, I saw this, and a voice told me to do this. It was just like, in your essence, you just, it's happening in your core and like apparently it uh, affects your pineal as well, your pineal gland, so like a very um, experiential thing, mentally, spiritually, physically, um, but it definitely changed me, I feel like, in a <clears throat> positive way. I do remember also moving uh, my head, and it reminded me when I came out of it, uh, the woman who has helped guide me <clears throat> did say that it looked as though like something else was like moving my head from side to side to like, she interpreted it as like to see something, to look at something. For me, I, that when she mentioned it, I was like, oh, I do remember sort of feeling like I was being pulled back and forth or moving from side to side rather rapidly. <clears throat> And I, I sort of remember vaguely being, going into, like through this funnel, going into certain uh, tunnels or funnels or outside of that, or delving into uh, one area and then coming back and looking down another area and seeing different elements of what was there. And uh, coming afterwards, reflecting too, I had some thoughts about how connected we all are, but also how there's a sort of a duality, like, like there's a male, female, a yin, a yang, a dark, a light, uh, there's all these fluctuations, but it's still, it's still all one, it's all part of the same essence. And so that may have been that back and forth that you have before you finally go through to like that higher enlightenment state where it's, everything is one. Um, <laughs> what is this? I, I'm just describing as best I can with words. It's really indescribable. It was so incredible. It was almost too much for me to deal with, but 
month coming out of it, it was just so amazingly positive. And I know it was for my good. <clears throat> I really feel like it did something essentially positive to my, my brain and my body and like what I'm going to do moving forward. And I'm hoping that over the next few days and weeks, through meditating and uh, you know positive sleep habits, dream, good dreams, I can integrate a lot of what I learned and 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 have uh, something you know very practical come out of it too. As I'm thinking about it now, I kind of part of me misses it. Like I, I wish I could go back and be in there with this, you know, be part of it again. Although going into it was really. Uh, like, all, not really frightening, like it was overwhelming, but it's just almost too much. But once I got to a point where I was in it and cruising uh, the other level, I have a sense that it was really, um, it was comfortable, like it belonged kind of feeling. And then coming out, <clears throat> I started to have more of a sense of my body, and I remember myself rubbing my legs and. Also, up my chest, like, oh, I'm breathing and like, okay, I'm, I can sort of, oh, I have a body again. I could feel my hands and it was really surreal. Like, okay, I'm back in this plane. I kept the, the uh, mask on because I was still having all these, this imagery. Um, <clears throat> and then she was talking to me like, oh, what were you experiencing? What are you seeing? What do you think? And I could start to hear her now. And, and so I was trying to describe that uh, uh, I was connected, and I know I was gesturing a lot while I was talking, like, I'm still connected, I can still feel the flow through myself, and through the top of my head, up to the universe, and that energy going upwards and coming down, like, I'm still one with everything, and there is, there is no separateness, so I was like, feeling, wow, this is just an illusion that we're this individual thing cut off from everyone else, it's not true, and uh, I remember also this energy flowing through my chest like this expansiveness through my rib cage just opening up and whether you call it love or just energy or flow or just your essence just that was a big sensation I had and then I remember her asking me to talk about my experience. But take me through it because this wow. is your journey. I really want to know all those oh details because these details are for you later. <laughs> Wow! Yeah. Wow! <laughs> yeah! Oh my God! This man's seen a double rainbow. Oh, and I, I remember hearing this voice, not just a voice, like a thousand voices, like a, a vibrating mass of voice of like every, like the universe basically t just speaking into my head, like. <sighs> Um, with words, but just so overwhelming and big, and I was speaking it as it was saying it into my head. It honestly did not feel like I was saying these words, and I'm I feel it talking. I'm saying it as it's coming out, like we're all, we're all connected. connected. I'm one with, with the universe, universe. And, and this experience is, is for, for my benefit, benefit but also for, for your benefit. benefit. I'm talking to the, the person that was there. Uh, guiding me, even though I had the mask on, I was like speaking to her and I was like gesturing and like <clears throat> we're so expansive and connected and it's all love, there's this big sense of we are loved and that the essence of it, it's all like uh, love, the energy is just based on love, it's a positive thing and I'm speaking this and I'm hearing it and I'm like, am I talking? Is this the universe talking or is it me? And I remember her, she's answering me, so I was speaking, and she said, it's all the same thing, you're one with the universe. And I was like, that resonated so clearly, I was like, yes, I am one with the universe. And then I started laughing, I remember thinking, what, now, oh my God, now that I know what this, <clears throat> how ridiculous it seemed to just worry about the little things we worry about, like, was an email going to answer? Or did you finish program? When was the video edited? How would your work done on time? And a deadline or a whatever. And just uh, someone said something or someone else got more results than you and what, comparing yours. All that petty bullshit just, just 
it seemed just so obviously mundane and ridiculous to even waste energy, any energy concerning yourself about. It was just so clear and that, that that was just like, what, why, why would I, why would I ever stress on nothing, on these little nothings that the society or our programming tells us matter on any level, when there's, we're, there's so much more to us. And having come from that other perspective, and, and all of a sudden, I just started laughing. I was like, <laughs> it's so silly. Some of the stuff I was hoping to solve and get a better perspective on going in, looking back, is like, that, that's, not even, that's not even the issue. This is like, now we got to look way past that. Like, what is a bigger picture? What, what do I ultimately want to do that's just going to be really meaningful about life, you know? But that was, uh, that's something I want to hang on to, because it's so easy to get caught up in the mundane bullshit of day-to-day -day routine. And it really doesn't matter. It doesn't mean you don't do it. Some stuff you just do because it's getting you somewhere else you want to go, but don't worry about it. Don't stress. And if it doesn't get done then or there's something more important, you know, just be in the moment. That was another big thing is there is only, because there's that experience, there was no sense of time. I had, it felt like I was there forever. And when coming out, I sort of be aware of like, so how long was that? Like what, like what happened? There was no time going on. There, there, the only time there really is is this one moment that we're in. And that was another thing that just was so clear and obvious that I can see how going through day to day and looking at clocks, you can sort of forget that and caught up in this illusion of past, present, future, and we've got to get things done by this time and all that silliness. But uh, well then I was at that moment told myself, like I command now my unconscious mind to to let go of those limiting beliefs and, and like stop inhibiting me from really experiencing this fullness and let me have this awareness and this experience and then I realized no I'm not going to tell it and demand and I immediately sort of shifted my approach and I said no I I want to uh, love I love my myself it's my unconscious mind my subconscious is part of me and I know it's just there for my own good it's trying to protect me like it's afraid of new experiences it wants to go with what it's been programmed and feel safe with. So I shifted to, I love you, I'll protect you, it's okay to let go now. And these, any new experiences I do, anything we do outside of my, your comfort zone is safe. And, I, and I'm here to, to guide you through and, and you'll be open to new experiences and learning. So I sort of, it's talking to my, you know, your programming. So that was pretty interesting to sort of have that dialogue and just have it really clear, like uh, there's something in my physical body and brain wiring that <clears throat> may sort of hold you back from some of these bigger experiences. And it's doing it because it thinks it's, you know, the right thing to do to keep you protected. But we don't need to fight it. We need to just allow it to let go. Uh, there's that big theme of allowing, letting go, and flowing as opposed to fighting and forcing and struggling. And... <clears throat> The, big, the thing about um, love and also the thank you, thank you, thank you, the gratitude, being connected to all the universal consciousness that we're all part of it, and they all have that flow that's always there. It was just so uh, obvious, so clear. And after I had that conversation about it's okay for let my subconscious to just let go of those restraints a little bit, um, and I realized, you know, we're connected, and um, and then she was saying, "That's right. You're part of the always." And I said, and then I felt like, "Oh, I'm missing it." It's starting to. I said, "I'm starting to think a lot now and interpret it." And I was talking to her that I was talking sort of through that voice, and then my I sort of talked my my conscious mind like, "Is that me talking, or am I back here now?" And then I was like, "No, I don't want to like I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose that connection." I felt like, "Oh no, I'm going to drift away from that connectivity with everything." It's so empowering and it just everything's there at your disposable to you know disposal to access that knowledge and power and and uh, she reassured me like you're all, you're always you can't get disconnected you're always connected it's just a matter of how aware you are of that or not and and that was very reassuring I said you're right you're right I, uh, I'm connected I'm a powerful being I, I like I have that access to me at all times and then I just felt this overwhelming feeling of how powerful I am. And I stood up, I like, uh, stood up, put my arms out to the sides, palms open upwards, head back, chest open, and I just felt, I took a deep breath, and, and again, I felt that feeling like when I was right in the trips, opened up, and, and I was, this is when I was coming out of it, and it was 
still such an incredible, intense experience. I just felt myself as if I had grown like 20 feet to become a giant. I felt myself expand bigger than the room. And I felt my physical body, but I also felt like there was like layers of energy surrounding me, like an aura of purple and red and like violet, creating like a bigger self to me too. And especially out through my chest and my head, but even around my arms, like all this energy and and I felt just so powerful. And I, ple- I think I even said, I have a recording of this experience too that I will work into this uh, when I edit it. I believe I, oh I said it. God! Yeah! I felt so powerful. And I'm like, wow! Oh. I just, I'm still powerful. Yeah. Oh my God. Let it out and like laughing and just like, oh my God, all this power. And it was honestly like in the movies when you see a superhero get hit by a comet or radiation and turns into this uh, superhero, that's what I honestly felt like. I became a super entity, like, just right there. Uh, and it was, it was, I don't know how to describe it, like, uh, I want that experience again really bad. Like, it was so powerful. Uh, I'm hungry for it. But I think I can reach that again through practicing and realizing, you know, essentially who we are. I'd like to relive that. But um, that was just a really intense, incredible, awesome experience after. And even just for that part of it, it was worth it. Just to have, and just so real too. Like just stood up and then just grew. I felt, I literally grew huge, tall and like big, tall and big and just energized, like just like energy is pulsing out of me, especially out of my chest. And I thought I can do anything. I think with this power, I can motivate others. I can inspire others. I can help others change their lives. And then I was realizing like I could, people would, if I was in this state, people would just follow me. I said, I could also manipulate people and get people to do what I wanted and on any level. And uh, I sort of reflected on that. I was like, oh, yeah, I could, if I could tap into this. And then I sort of, decided in that moment it's like but I would choose to use it for this sounds so cliche like I choose to use my powers for good but I told him this I was telling myself uh, I would choose to use this power for good the, 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 the source of this energy is love and connectivity if you hurt others you hurt yourself ultimately also that feeling when I was out here sort of also reaffirmed that and I, I just oh, so much I just like yelled it out it just felt so good it reminded me of when she said, like, your throat chakra has a lot of energy coming through there. And uh, I was thinking, why is that? Because I have a, also a throat irritation, like, <clears throat> all the time from, uh, I broke my nose in a car accident and stuff, so I'm always, <clears throat> and I'm wondering if that's, now I'm trying to make connections, but if that's this energy, it's something unresolved that I want to get out. I need to release this energy that's pound on and whether that is public speaking again or doing seminars workshops we can like doing something to motivate inspire help others on a in a speaking level or with my videos my youtube my youtube videos or however i would choose to do that my products or my uh, reaching others through video through speaking through groups through group training uh through maybe working with youth in schools or through uh doing a radio show or whatever it is uh, there may be something in there that i'm to take out of it and I want to whatever resonates with me I'm gonna be open to it I'm gonna look at that and move forward that way and I realized that coming into any situation of difficulty or of challenge that if you came in with that presence about yourself and that realization of who you ultimately are and how much power you have inside you and how connected you are still to everything else in the universe and you have access to that Nothing would phase you. You could go into any situation with ultimate confidence. People would be able to feel this and sense this if you attract others with positive energy to you. It would be a life changer. <clears throat> and with that came a uh, realization kind of tied to the idea that I don't have to stress over this little th- the little stuff. But that not to dwell on pettiness, that your experience is completely different from others even though they're all connected, we're all here. We chose to come into these physical bodies. We, this is our, our, our choice. And to have this physical experience, 
and to pursue this physical reality and like follow our true heart's desires and everyone else has that, that for themselves too. So why compare yourself to someone else? It does not make sense to compare yourself to someone else's journey and say, oh, they had more success in this area or they have more money here or, or that you're better than someone else. Like, oh, I have more than that person here. I'm in better shape than them. It doesn't make sense. You do your thing. Help others and, and be there as an example too as far as pursuing your, you know, your desire and your <coughs> uh, self-improvement, personal development. And don't try to, don't compare. It's, it's like, it's completely unrelated. Uh, the other thing I did fail after I sort of started sort of settling in and I had that power experience and I sat down, I was, and I started to really feel like I'm being more grounded now. I'm coming in, I was so thankful of my body. Like here, I'm coming back, took a moment, I was just touching my body and just think, oh my God, I'm so, I love my body. I really love being, having this physical body to experience this physical world in. It's so awesome. And she was like, yeah, you chose to, to do this. It's like, make the most of it. And it just felt so good. Like, I, I did kind of miss, like, all that connection. I was like, I want to, always want to have that. And she reassured me it's always there. And I want this power to stay. I want that feeling. It's like you can always, you know, through practices and breathing and the meditation and continued experiences, you can always bring that there. It's there for you to access. You just have to let it come and, and so then I was like okay and I know that's it I'm always and then so like then I just sort of thank God I have this for however long many years I have this body on the planet I am so grateful for it it just and it felt I can't at no like thoughts on like flaws or I have to improve this or lose a little fat here all that bullshit is just like what a perfect body how perfect and how lucky I am to be able to be in this and experience everything in this plane as well as that other, it just felt so great to come back into it. And as I settled in, I just like just felt so elated. It was like you, the best of both worlds. Like I am all part of all that, but I get to experience this realm too completely differently, which I wouldn't be able to have this otherwise. Uh, that was just again. I'm trying to explain this, and intellectually with words, and the experience is really beyond words. <clears throat> And the imagery was just, I'm hoping over the weeks following in my dreams and meditation, I'll have hints of it. You know, when you remember bits of your dream, like, oh yeah, oh yeah, that happened. I'm hoping that comes because I, I really want to feel it again. But I had an option to do two trips with the DMT. And uh, as positive as it was, I had to say, I'm, I need some time. And so. I left it that one, I'm going to let my body integrate it and interpret it. <clears throat> I'm going to continue to, now it's become so clear how important time, quiet time is, and meditation, and time to reflect, just time to take breathing exercises, time to spend time in nature, just quiet time, time to, uh, to read and to do audio courses and to just continue to, to grow spiritually, or you know, it doesn't make sense not to make time for that, that's what's really important. Everything else falls into place. So getting stuff done and checking stuff off the list is really secondary. That's, or it doesn't, it's little to-dos in the physical plane that really come as a byproduct of what you're really about. <clears throat> I hope I caught most of that in this recording. I know it's long. This is something that maybe I can watch down the road when it sort of drifts off. I'm not, I don't remember as clearly what happened. And reflect on it again, maybe from a different perspective. And I'm thinking in a few months to a year or so, when I've had a chance and I feel like I'm ready for it again, I would do this again, but I would always do it with a guide. I would go back to this same woman. And uh, yeah, I would recommend her to anyone, obviously too. <clears throat> but I'm definitely, uh, I thought, I was worried that it would not be intense enough. Like it would be like, oh, I need, light show, but it wouldn't really give me a next level experience, but it was such a breakthrough on so many levels, way beyond anything I could have possibly imagined, uh, that I, I was just like so grateful for it, but I couldn't, I was not ready to do it again. I thought, I, I, need, I need time. Uh, while I was going into it, I thought I felt my body just letting go, and 
I was sure I was like, while well, I was still low conscious, I thought I for sure soiled myself. I probably wet myself and released it and everything. Because I just felt my body was oh, let go. And, uh, but then I thought, you know what, it doesn't matter. Uh, this, I'm with someone here who's helping me and done it before. So whatever happens, happens. And then I was just like, it's okay. I wanted this. And then I was gone. And body was not a matter anymore. Still thinking about it, it's just, there's nothing I could have, I can, nothing I can compare it to in my physical experience. Nothing. Uh, now, when I, if I do go back, I will have an idea of sort of what to expect, and I would expect probably to go to another level. And I'm hoping that as my mind is more acclimatized to this and ready for it and I've grown, that I will remember more, that I'll take more back with me, and I'll go to different levels of awareness and clarity clarity of purpose and uh, sort of more in touch with what my true heart's desire is and really make it just so obvious that I'm how powerful we are and how connected we are so anyway for anyone I'm sharing this with I hope you found this interesting and I hope it gives you some insight into potentially trying this uh, medicine yourself again do not tread lightly it, uh, I recommend being prepared for it. I also recommend going in with a real purpose and intention, not just for a trip or a psychedelic experience, because it can not, it could be a little much. And I recommend going with a guide and not just getting some and doing it at home. This is the, the, the biggest, most intense life experience, the, the most overwhelming experience in my life to date. That's saying something. Anyway. Much love to you all. Anyone watching, remember how powerful you are and continue moving forward and growing as a person. Oh my god, my god. <laughs> oh, that was something different. You definitely had some immediate awakenings come through. You went through gate after gate after gate. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh. oh my god. That was a very positive experience.